What's good, people? It's your boy Mel Toast, Mel Tovin, you know what I mean? Trauma Villain Entertainment. You know how we do, Soul Brothers, you know what I mean? Anyway, today I'm gonna explain to y'all dudes out there, you know what I mean, how to build a Pro Tools computer, you know what I mean? Because a lot of dudes just think that because you got a home computer in the inbox that you're ready to run a Pro Tools setup. You know what I mean? But it's actually, if you're really looking to, you know what I mean, expand your capabilities, have the most ultimate processing power, you really got to spend a couple of dollars. And today I'm just going to give you a couple of components that you would need to build your system. First, which we have here is the Intel i7 processor. You know what I mean? This right here. Is that this will gives you all your power to your computer. You know what I mean? You want to have more processors in your computer. This is like top-notch shit right now. This is something that, you know, a lot of the big dogs is using. Next, you need to choose a, a motherboard that's compatible with your processor. You know what I mean? So I chose this Gigabyte. Actually, I got my build off of some guys, you know what I mean, at Digi User Conference. You know, this guy named uh, Guitardum. So I'm just running down his specs, you know, but I built the same thing that he built. And this is what I have right here, this Gigabyte, Gigabyte, excuse me, EX58UD3R, you know what I mean? And this, this motherboard actually works out kind of good. I really don't like the PCIe slots because they're like really close together. And the last one, it's hard to fit a card into there. But otherwise than that, it's kind of good, you know, it has uh, four memory slots. I think it holds up to 12 gigs. It's expandable to 16, so that's a good thing. What I have here is my CPU cooler. I chose this Cooler Master here. It definitely supplies enough power needed to cool the processor, so it's definitely a good choice. And you gotta make make sure you have something that's compatible with your processor there. Power supply, I chose the Corsair 650TXW. This will definitely get you enough power that you need. Running this type of processor, I believe you need at least 650 watts of power. Nothing less is recommended. Well, video card, you know, I'm not really too in particular about that. I just chose something that was like, uh, that didn't need no more than 5, 12 megs of RAM to run. You know, because I don't want to exhaust my power on there. But I have this, his rating 4650. It's a good card. You know, the HDMI plug-in case. I, well, you know, I didn't really have a lot of bucks, so I just kind of got what I could afford. I got this uh, Storm Scout here. If you can see that, it's kind of nice. I wouldn't recommend it for an audio, you know, if you're doing or if you're doing an audio application, I wouldn't really recommend this. It's not too quiet, but my computer's overall it's kind of quiet, so it doesn't really matter. The case for me right now, it's working. And now. I guess I'll just show you my build and, you know, I'll shut up Pro Tools and let you see how it's hard running. Drive. I have a Western Digital Black Caviar 640 gig hard drive. I don't have the packaging for that because I bought it in the OME style, which doesn't come in the original packaging. It just comes in a plastic bag, but it, it still works the same and it's brand new. So it works right. for me. So now that we've gone through the components, I give you a look at my Pro Tools setup. I'm using the Digio 3 Firewire Rack. Now here we go. I have my Pro Tools here, and I have a total of 32 tracks armed, with five D-verb inserted on each, a total of five plugins on each channel, all the way across. So that's right now, I have loaded maybe somewhere like along the line of about 160 effects. Now who would need that many, but it's great to have your computer running at this power. Plus my CPU is only at 79% right now. And it's recording tracks as we speak. Just to let you know it's all real. Plus my buffer rate is at the highest. It's at 64. So it's no latency issues when we're recording. You know, you're hearing actual real time. Amazing. This is the type of computer you want to have when running your Pro Tools setup. 